Hi there, hope you're well. In this video, we're going to be doing our annual seasonal gift ideas. Yes, I do one of these every year, have done for the last however long I've been on YouTube, five years I think it is now. And just a few little things that I've picked up along the way, odds and ends that I've come across across the year that might be of interest to you. As usual, we start with relatively affordable pocket money kind of stocking fillers, and we'll work our way up towards things that are a little more indulgent, shall we say. Um, uh, let's start with something sort of close to my heart, my hands. Uh, if you're anything like me, then, you know, you're not really a hand cream sort of user. One of the best things I've found is this. This is O'Keeffe's Working Hands. It is a fragrance-free, so no honeysuckle buttermilk here. With this stuff, it's like waxing a car. You get this on your hands, give it a couple of minutes to soak in. And if you need to put your hands under water, you get little sort of beady droplets all over them. It's amazing. I bought this tub almost exactly a year ago. So it lasts a long time, uh, about five or six pounds, I think, on Amazon. I'll put links up on screen, uh, excuse me, I'll put prices up on screen uh, where I can and links obviously to everything down in the description below. But O'Keeffe's Working Hands, absolutely thoroughly recommended for literally working hands. Uh, next up, I'm gonna recommend a fountain pen or three. These are uh, Monami Olica. These are sort of bright and colorful fountain pens. There's been a lot of attention on Korea this year with the success of Squid Games. Uh, Monami is Korea's leading stationery manufacturer, I'm told. And these pens are fantastic value, just £3.50 for a fountain pen. They come in 10 different colours, and at that sort of price you might expect them to be disposable, but they're not. They're, each one comes with uh, three ink cartridges of whatever the body colour is, so you've got plenty of ink to be writing or drawing with. You know, this time of year you might want to be writing a a handwritten thank you note to somebody. I really like these, £3.50. Uh, I got mine from Cult Pens, uh, you know, three different colours for a tenner or just over. A great value, nice pen. If you're new to fountain pens, they're a great starter pen, obviously available in the usual black and blue, as well as the more funky colours too. Thoroughly recommended. Uh, next up, we've got something new to me. This is called the Bird Box. Um, this popped up in the post recently and I looked at it and thought it's sort of vaguely familiar but I wasn't sure quite why and then I realised it's Neil from Swanky Scribe and Swanky Objects. This is the latest uh, thing in partnership with a carpenter. This is a really clever little 18 one dingus, a little gadget that performs many, many functions, um, particularly aimed at carpenters who are hanging doors. It gives you all manner of different things. It gives you uh, a center for 34, 44 and 54 mil doors. It gives you the 57 mil back set for the standard spindle. And you can even use it as a little dust catcher if you're drilling out a lock or something like that. Also has, if you're doing cabinets, uh, 32 mil centers. Really clever little gadget. Available on Amazon at about 15 quid. In fact, let's, let's just break with this quickly. Normally, people don't get a second bite uh, if they've been featured on um, this list. I tend not to feature them again. But it's always worth checking back to previous years because the, the products that people offer do change. Obviously, Neil's moved on from his uh, scribing stuff and to include... Uh, this kind of thing. Uh, let's, in fact, let's just give a quick shout out to all the all the scribe tribe. Um, Steve Tomlin, SBT Design with his block scribe. Uh, Dan and Scott with the Uscribe jig. Neil at Swanky Scribe, obviously. Uh, Steve Tomlin, block scribe, also has a block scribe ultimate mini. He made a, a really, I think it featured last year, a really lovely machined aluminium version of the block scribe. There's a mini version of that as well. And I think Idris, who made those lovely leather-bound notebooks in last year's video, also makes a vegan leather version now as well. So always worth checking back through the previous year's gift ideas videos to see what people are offering this year as well. All those previous videos are linked up down below. Um, let's move on from that to um, <laughs> a couple of rulers. I came across 
Kinetic Customs recently. I uh, saw them on Instagram. And they, they hand make some really beautiful products. This is a 150-0, 150 metric ruler, so a centering ruler, made from sprung steel, handmade up in Derbyshire, costs about 28 pounds plus a couple of quid postage. I haven't had a centering ruler like this before and I've meant to get one for ages and it was there, so I did, 28 pounds, a little bit expensive for a ruler, but for something this precise and that's handmade right here in the UK, it's fantastic value. I posted a couple of pictures on this, uh, of this on my Instagram because it is a lovely thing. And somebody in the comments, my apologies, I can't remember who, said, oh, you should try Whittam's, Whittam's Precision Rulers. So I did, I took a look and I found on, oops, on Whittam's this beautiful, delicate little steel rule. It's another... 150-0, 150 or, or 6 as they call it, uh, with metric uh, millimetres and half millimetres on one face and uh, imperial tenths of an inch and sixty-fourths on the other. Interesting choice. And this is just six pounds, although they do charge a whopping ten pounds postage for this, uh, which I thought was a bit steep, but I bought one anyway. And th when it arrived, it actually arrives sellotaped to a block of wood. <laughs> Uh, there's a story behind that postman packing, isn't there? Definitely. Um, lovely little ruler, so about, including postman packing, about 15, 16 quid uh, for the Whittams one and 28 for the handmade British version from Kinetic Customs. Both really lovely, both, you know, different in their own way. But as always, it's fantastic to have the choice. Next up, uh, Stew at SP Wood. If you've got an evolution saw, you might know Stu Parker. He does paddles, kill switches for the evolution saws. He's done uh, three 3D prints of these. He's done one recently and a zero clearance plate for the Aldi Ferrex bandsaw. Uh, obviously, that's a really useful thing to have. Uh, again, little micro industry. Stu sells these through his Etsy store. They're available there now for, I think it's £10 for the uh, paddle, for the emergency stop paddle, and five pounds for the zero clearance insert. Uh, definitely worth 10 quid to get that uh, bandsaw stopped quickly. Uh, next up is Reese Hartle from Norfolk Bespoke Woodworks. Reese is doing all my CNC work now, and he did my uh, loose 10 inch samples, which I don't have here, I'll need to get those for later on. Uh, they're, they're in production now, we should be getting those in a couple of weeks. More, more on that later on. But before he made those, Reese puts these together. These are really, really, really nice reusable Festool MIDI bags. It does them for the traditional MIDI and the new MIDI. Um, they're just a really nicely put together, a well-machined zip, which opens all the way up, makes it really easy to empty. I think they're around 15 pounds. They're a genuine Festool product, so they work really well and you can reuse them many times over. Uh, a great, great value product. Uh, Reese also has made, I'm not sure if he's able to offer these, I don't think they're in his uh, eBay store just now, but a really nice little MFT workstation. I've shown these before on my Instagram and they were very popular. I think you uh, ran out of whoever was making the, uh, the 3D printed little dinguses for him. Uh, I've put him in touch with a couple of people so hopefully he'll be able to get these back in stock before too long. But it, it's just a really clever little thing to have. A little bit, the, little bit like the uh, NFT sustainer that Festival made but obviously a lot less money and produces a similar sort of function on a regular T-Lock sustainer. Really nice, really nicely machined as of course you'd expect. So more 3D printed stuff. This is from James at MacHack. James got in touch after he'd seen me using the Strawbite waist side jigs. James actually makes a variation on those, which actually gives you a waist side jig for when you've got the blade, the saw tilted over at an angle as well. James also makes uh, hose clips. Uh, very kindly sent me a set for my new Festool MIDI, but the thing that really, really, really caught my eye and really impressed me are these super simple little painter's pyramids. They fit perfectly into the MFT like this. Ideal 
for when you want to get something just up off the deck very slightly. You can also flip them around the other way to produce a more stable platform so they then act as a bench top protector so if you're cutting something they raise the workpiece off the deck by about 10 mil really clever uh, 10 pounds i think for a pack of 10 definitely worth having so next up we've got a couple of bits and pieces from the guys at first for magnets started working with first for magnets this year um, i bought the magnetic tape for my light diffusers from them they supplied the neodymium magnets for my uh, router bench fence. They do a DIY kit and you think, well, what's a DIY kit going to have in it? <laughs> Gotta say, it's actually really useful. And if you've ever, if you've ever dropped anything as we do, and if you ever struggle to pick things up as you will as you get older, um, a magnet on a bendy stick like this is just incredibly useful. Uh, <laughs> those dropped bits, that missing 10 mil socket, yes, you can find them all and then put the whole thing away again, like so. When you're finished with it, what could be better than that? Well, one of those, but with a torch on it as well. Um, again, just a little telescopic one, which has a bendy bit on the end, so you can not only see where you're looking, but pick up the object too. Very neat, very clever, and finally, oops, oh, that's bright. And finally, a little magnetic wrist cuff too. You know, one of those things where if you don't have a drill or a driver that has magnets in the base, then you can keep your screws or whatever you're working on handy without fishing around in your pockets for them. Uh, all those three things in a little kit for, I think it's £12.50, so great value. Uh, it is on half price. Normally there's a discount code um, with the first for magnet stuff. That's that's good generally. 10 minute workshop will get you 5% off, but not on this particular kit because it's already at 50% off. But uh, still £12.50 for all those three things. Great value and sure to come in handy. So I've always been a fan of Barco combination squares. Little six inch combi square like this is great value, six or seven pounds or thereabouts. I've got a few of these. I think I have one in every toolbox. And I've got two or three of them knocking around the workshop. Um, they're just sort of incredibly useful little things. But I did spot a Starrett version available on Amazon recently for just 28 quid. Now, you know, 28 quid is almost exactly four times as much as one of those. Is it worth four times? Is it four times better? Mm, probably not. But you know what? It's a genuine Starrett. And it really is a beautiful little thing. Nice cast iron head, really well machined, completely steady and stable, absolutely square, as you'd expect. Um, as I say, almost certainly not worth four times the price of one of these. I would rather have four of these than one of these. However, I have four of these already, and 28 quid isn't going to break the bank. So yeah, I, I bought one of these and very, very happy with it. Genuine Starrett item in the box and the plastic bag and everything. Uh, next up, I'm going to give you a little light bedtime reading. I'm going to give you an essential book. This is um, Human Dimension and Interior Space by uh, Zelnik and Paniero. First published in 1979. This is a first edition. It cost a whopping £17.50 at the time. If you make any piece of furniture that a human being will interact with in any way, uh, if they sit at it, if they sit on it, if they work at it, eat at it, stand in front of it, sleep on it, you need a copy of this book. It, it is a, uh, what do they call it? A reference, uh, a source book of reference standards. And it is just breathtaking in its breadth general office dimensions for standing, sitting, for men and women. I was reminded of this recently when my uh, Instagram and YouTube, uh, Twitter pal Gary Cook, hey Gary, popped up asking about the angle of a back for a bunkette seating. And yes, of course it's here. It's all defined, you know, the angle, the rise on the seat, everything. 
how much space you need to give each individual person for low density seating or high density seating. It's all there. Everything you could ever want to know about any kind of furniture making is in this book, all covered by glorious uh, black and white 1970s drawings. Uh, it's still in print. It's available on Amazon now for about £22, I think. Uh, I did not buy this as a first edition, needless to say, in 1979. I was 19 years old, and I think I was probably living on £17.50 a month and having a great time as well. But definitely something that you should, you should have on your library shelf um, as a general reference book. It's, it's just, it covers everything you could ever want. Brilliant. Next, I'm going to have to move slightly further back, I think. Uh, I've featured this before very briefly. I've never actually managed to get my hands on one of these. This is the Weera Advent Calendar. They do one of these every year. The, the offering, the range of tools is different in each one. I suspect this may well be out of stock by now because we're into December. I managed to snag this back in October when, it, when I first saw it. I've never actually managed to find one before. Uh, but it's it's a little toolkit and you you know typical advent calendar style you get one every day and it builds up into this very useful and very worthwhile Weera or Fira toolkit uh, about 42 pounds I think I believe you can still get last year's available at a higher price I think it's about 57 quid or something like that so less of a bargain uh, but if you can get one of these they're always great uh, one that I can't show you just now is uh, a range of brands and branding. I've always got my brands and branding irons from Mike at Outpost Workshop. It can be a little bit daunting if you're looking to make your own brand for the first time to actually design something. What Mike's done is he's got a, a set of pre-made templates, so sort of ready-made brands in the woodworking theme, and you can just add your name to them. It's a really clever idea, obviously, as the bulk of the design work has already done. They work out a little bit cheaper. I think they start at £65 or thereabouts. Dive in early if you want to get one of those for Christmas. Um, but take a look at Mike's, uh, Mike's site, Outpost Workshop Co. UK. I'll uh, link all this up down below. Uh, he does a fantastic job. He's a top quality machinist and knows the branding side of things sort of inside out. So let's step it up a little bit in terms of indulgence. Yes, this is the Bench Dogs Precision Triangle. When is a square not a square? when it's a triangle. Obviously, this is, <laughs> I think Ralph told me, this is the largest single item that bench dogs have ever actually shipped. Um, it is it is huge for 50 mil quarter to corner, over 600 mil between the two pointy bits. Um, it is a, a magnificent hunk of aluminium, precision engineered and machined with all the markings laser etched in. I've had it for a little while and I've got to say when I first had it I didn't find many uses for it because it is so big and I was tending to do much smaller scale work and for that reason I haven't actually reviewed this as yet. I think Andy, my YouTube pal Andy Guile, uh, the wood grafter, has done a good th thorough review, review of this because it does all kinds of things. You can have these little removable cheeks that you can add on to each side so it will stand up absolutely square. You can basically turn it into a reasonably costly, it has to be said, speed square if that's what you're going to do. Um, there are little screw-in pegs if you need to refer it against an edge or you can even just use a regular bench dog in there. if that's something you want to do as well. Just yeah, a really, really lovely thing. It has many more functions as well. Well, obviously it's it's not a cheap thing at 172 pounds, I think, including the AT, but it is magnificent and it does compare favorably to the likes of Starrett and Woodpecker and all those other big precision squares, precision triangles, uh, made right here in Britain, of course, and designed here as well. Uh, a lovely, lovely thing. If you, if you do feel that that's a little bit much, perhaps, in terms of size and perhaps cost, then have a look at the Bench Dogs Carpenter Square. Uh, this is only, only 175mm long, uh, 
Again, very, very clever, very, very well thought out. It has these little pegs that are removable. And as a general square, it just does exactly what you think. It gives you center marks for 12 mil, 15 mil, and 25 mil. And you know how it is if you've ever used a speed square to get an angle. You've got to sort of concentrate on lining up that angle. Put a little peg in the pivot and one in the angle that you want, 25 degrees. And that's you set. Um, you don't have to sort of line up the lines or anything. Really nice, as always, the standard sort of bench dog quality. Uh, beautifully machined, perfect laser etching, and it is uh, £72, including VAT. I think it's available for pre-order now. So, uh, again, dive in quick if you want to get one of these in your stocking. Uh, really nice. Oh, you know, just as a general sort of, you know, out there, wouldn't mind having one sort of between the two sizes, actually. But, you know, there we are. maybe that's just me. And finally, talking of indulgence, let me ask you to indulge me for a second because no Gift Ideas video is complete without me pushing my own clamping guides. These have been out of stock uh, for the last uh, week or so. I I've been off, I've had COVID, uh, so I took all physical products out of the store, out of my Etsy, just as a precaution. Um, apart from anything else, you know, couldn't get to the post office. Uh, these will be back in stock over the weekend and we should have plenty in, uh, available in the run up to Christmas. As usual, they're just you know, a, a nicely machined little square enough clamping guide to help you put uh, carcasses together and that sort of thing. And finally, finally, let me just uh, give you another little preview of my 10 minute workshop, Loose 10 in Jig. Uh, this has been coming for a long time. I did a little preview of this in the recent um, underbench cabinet build with birch ply drawers. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've just put the first batch of these in hand, so they should be available in the next couple of weeks. Uh, as always, in relatively short supply to start with. Uh, it's a really neat little jig. I'm really quite proud of this. Um, very simple. We're trying to get it into the best possible price that we can. Um, but it's just a simple little plywood jig that helps you make loose tenon joints, um, domino joints for cabinets. Uh, definitely worth having, but I'll leave it there for this one. I think thanks so much for taking a look. Hopefully there's uh, been something on this list of a dozen or so little ideas that will have sparked a bit of interest for you. Uh, lots of different price points, lots of different degrees of indulgence there, but hopefully there's been something for everyone. Uh, but I'll call that one done. Thank you as always for taking a look and thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon supporters for their continued support that really does help me to get things ticking along here. But that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care.